This is the solution to written homework 11. In many ways, it's just like written homework 7 and 8. So let's consider what KFT looks like. So initially, close to t is 0. 3t will grow faster than t squared plus 4. So this function will increase until t squared plus 4 begins to be bigger than 3t, and then it will decrease. So the sketch of this function will look like <coughs> something like this. The primary difference between written homework 7 and 8 and this one is that you're expected to use the second derivative test <coughs> to verify that the stationary point is maximal. So we're expecting to find a stationary point here a place where the derivative is zero and since we're expecting it to be maximal we're also expecting to find that the second derivative there is negative so let's see if our expectations are met. So the first step, since we're using the second derivative and not constructing a sign chart, we'll just compute the first derivative and find its stationary points. So since it's a quotient, we'll use the quotient rule. So that's the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator squared. Simplifying, that's 3 multiplied by t squared plus 4 plus, oh no, minus 3t multiplied by 2t over t squared plus 4 squared. So that's 3t squared plus 12 minus 6t squared divided by t squared plus 4 squared, which is negative 3t squared minus 12 no, plus 12 over t squared plus 4 squared and then now factor out negative 3 so negative 3 t squared minus 4 over t squared plus 4 squared <coughs> So negative 3 and then t plus 2 multiplied by t minus 2. All of this divided by t squared plus 4 squared. And that is the first derivative. <coughs> 
it's clear that the stationary points of the derivative are exactly when t is negative 2 or t is 2. However, since t is taken to be positive, the only stationary point is 2. So now we want to classify this stationary point with the second derivative test. So now let's find the second derivative. The derivative of this one will be the simplest. So the derivative of the numerator will be negative 6t multiplied by the denominator, t squared plus 4 squared, and then minus the numerator. times the derivative of the denominator. <clears throat> will be 2t squared plus 4 multiplied by 2t and all of this over the denominator squared, so that's squared squared, so that's to exponent 4. <clears throat> Simplifying, we can see that this factor, t squared plus 4, is common here and here, and that there is a 2t in this term and also in this term that can be factored out. So altogether what can be factored out is 2t t squared plus 4 and when that's factored out what remains is negative 3 t squared plus 4 this is factored out that is factored out so minus 2 and then negative 3 t squared plus 12 divided by t squared plus 4 to 4. So now there's a common factor of t squared plus 4 in the numerator and the denominator. That can be canceled. So then 2t. <clears throat> Multiplying that through, negative 3t squared minus 12 and that would be plus 6 t squared and then minus 24 over t squared plus 4 cubed So that would be 2t and then <clears throat> this would be 6t squared minus 3t squared is uh, 3t squared and 
and then minus 36. And since all that we need to do is evaluate the second derivative, this is probably simple enough. <clears throat> so then to make our conclusion, what we need to know is what happens when you plug in <clears throat> 2 into the second derivative. So the second derivative evaluated at 2 will be, so 2 times 2 is 4, and then 3 times 2 squared is 12, minus 36 is negative 24, and then divided by 2 squared, that's 4, plus another 4 is 8, that would be 8 cubed. And it doesn't really matter what that evaluates to, <clears throat> because all that we care about is that it's negative. So that means that that stationary point is concave down, like a frown, which is what our expectation was. So that means that this stationary point is a maximum. Uh, maximizer. So, <clears throat> continuing the conclusion, is that t equal to 2 is the maximizer. <clears throat> the value, if you plug in 2, that would be 6 <clears throat> over 8. which is to say 3 over 4, so 75%.